Hello, this is Chrissy with Tackling the Giants, and today I'm going to do a video titled Yeshua, the First Fruits of the Resurrection. The first picture shows the stone rolled away because Yeshua had risen from the dead, and the second picture is a, a picture of barley. And the reason it's a picture of barley is because the first fruits um, harvest that we're speaking of today is a barley harvest. So 1 Corinthians chapter 15 says, Now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that sleep. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, and afterwards those that are Christ at his coming. So I've already done a video showing how Yeshua died on Passover, and now this one is showing how he rose on first fruits. And we're going to go over um, how... Um, you know, these all these feast days, these holy days are shadow pictures of things to come, just as they were at his first coming. There are shadow pictures of his second coming, and that'll be in a later video. But this point, I'm trying to show that Yeshua rose on first fruits, the holy day of first fruits. So if we look in John chapter 20, it says, The first day of the week, which we know is Sunday, comes Mary Magdalene early when it's dark unto the tomb and sees the stone taken away. She ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Yeshua loved and said to them, They've taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they've laid him. Peter therefore went forth and the other disciple and came to the tomb. So they both ran, and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the first to the tomb. And he stooping down and looking in, he saw the linen clothes lying, yet he didn't go in. Then came Simon Peter following him and went into the tomb and saw the linen clothes lie and the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went also the disciple in, which came first to the tomb, and he saw and believed. For as yet they knew not the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again unto their own home. But Mary stood outside the tomb, weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet where the body had been lame. And they said to her, Why do you cry? She said to them, Because they have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they've laid him. And when she had said this, she turned herself back, and she saw Yeshua standing, and, but she didn't know it was him. And Yeshua said to her, Woman, why do you cry? Who do you seek? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have borne him here, for, tell me where you've laid him, and I will take him away. And Yeshua said to her, Mary. She turned herself and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. Yeshua said unto her, Do not touch me, for I am not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I ascend unto my father and your father, and to my God and your God. So I have a picture of a high priest here, and Hebrews reveals that Yeshua is our high priest in the heavenly realm. And so therefore, um, you know, he presents offerings to the Father, and, you know, he died for us, so therefore he is, um, just like um, 1 Corinthians says, he's the first fruits of the resurrection of the dead. So the reason that he did not want her to touch her is because a high priest has to stay in a ritual purification and if she touched him he would be unclean so he as the duty of high priest had to ascend to the father on first fruits and present himself as the first fruits offering from the resurrection of the dead so we see that this is why he had to ascend to the father because he is the first fruits he of the resurrection okay now what is this whole first fruits and where does it come from so Leviticus chapter 23 says, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you come into the land which I give to you and shall reap the harvest, you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. And he shall wave the sheaf before the Lord to be accepted for you on the morrow after the Sabbath. The priest shall wave it. So we see that this day of first fruits is after the Sabbath. Okay, so... It's on the first day of the week, which is Sunday, which is when Yeshua rose from the dead. And it says, And you shall offer that day when you wave the sheaf, a he lamb without blemish of the first year for a burnt offering to Jehovah, 
and the meat offering shall be two tenths still of fine flour mingled with oil, and an offering made by fire unto Yahweh for a sweet savor, and a drink offering shall be of wine, the fourth part of a hen. And you shall eat neither bread nor parched grain nor green ears until the self same day that you have brought an offering unto your God. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. So they were to eat of the old um, grain like the year before. Um, they couldn't eat of the new grain until the the offering of the first fruits. And this happens to be a barley offering, okay? And then we're going to go into a separate um, video for Shavuot or, you know, in Greek it's called Pentecost. Um, but I did include some verses here so you can see. It says, and from, it says, and you shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, so first fruits, right? From the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be complete. So seven Sabbaths from first fruits is 49 days, okay? And then it says, even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, you shall number 50 days. So the next day after the seventh Sabbath is 50 days, you shall offer a new grain offering to Jehovah. You shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tenth deals, and they shall be a fine flour mingled uh, with baked with leaven. They are first fruits unto Jehovah. So this first fruits, the reason I put that in there is because a lot of people get confused on they're both referred to as first fruits. And the reason they're both referred to as first fruits is because they are the first of the harvest, but the the one that Yeshua rose from the dead from is the barley harvest, okay? And the second one that we'll talk about later is a um is a grain like a um um a wheat harvest. That's the word I was looking for. So that's gonna be in a future video. But I just wanted to show you that Yeshua died on Postover in my prior video, and he rose on first fruits, and it's a representation of him being the first fruits of the resurrection of the dead. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe, thumbs up, um, sign up for notifications, and I hope you have a good day.